and I never talked to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Salamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. And the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Said that she had been, um, she had a broken neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home. But answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. Here in Charlotte, her family refuses to believe their daughter's death was an accident, and they vow to find the truth of what happened that night in Cabo. No one told the same story, so I never believed them anyway. Queen City News obtained Robinson's death certificate, which lists a cause of death as severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, which is instability in the uppermost vertebrae. In a section where police could have noted any sign of intoxication, it says person found unconscious on her living room. And they didn't call us to the very last minute. And then on top of that, they said the maid found them. The group stayed here at Villa Linda 32, a property listed on CaboVillas.com. A rep with the company says the group called the concierge for help Saturday afternoon. The concierge called a doctor who gave CPR. Robinson died at 3 p.m., an estimated 15 minutes after her injury. We obtained a list of seven guests who signed into the villa and called the phone numbers they left with the company. Some numbers weren't valid. Please leave your message for... And others went to voicemail. So the death certificate has a section that reads, was it accidental or violent a death? Yes, was typed into that section, so it's still not clear which...